Hey guys, so our next important topic is business rule exception. We are going to learn everything in detail. Let's jump on to UIPA Studio. Now to learn this, the very first activity that I'm going to use is a try catch block. So let's drag and drop the try catch block. Now here, uh, let's use our second activity input dialog box and here let's make an entry saying user input required okay and in the input label I will ask the user enter your email address simple and now in the value entered I'm going to create a variable called user input user input done so pretty simple right now user input variable because this variable we need it everywhere the best part when you are creating a sequence there could be multiple sequences okay in your workflow so it's better to rename them so that we can define a proper scope so simply click on click on this name okay then type main simple now because i have created a variable let's see that variable first so i'm going to expand this to main sequence simple great now after this what should i do after this and what exactly i'm trying to do let me show you then look for the activity called ease match so all this i have shown in the regular expression topic hope you remember that if not this video is also going to help you not to worry so here uh, i'm going to drag and drop the ease match activity okay so here what are we, what we exactly we are asking the email address from the user and here we are going to check in this activity we are going to check whether the email address what he entered is right or wrong pretty simple so it will give a true or false output so hit on the regular configure regular expression and here it is pretty simple simply go ahead and select the email it is going to write the entire code for you you don't have to know the regular expression pretty simple just simply drag and drop the activity and select what you need so i need an email address to be verified so i've selected the code or the expression pretty simple right now here we will provide the input what is the input here user input is the variable and then we will store the output right click create a variable and i'm going to uh, store it in let's say verified email okay any variable you can create so done now look at this so you have created a verified email which is going to store whether your email address is right or wrong so for that so what is the output of this true or false it's a boolean output if you go to your uh, variable panel this is a completely a boolean output true or false so based on the output i can write a if activity or not i can use a if activity so let's drag and drop the if activity simple and then i am going to write the variable which is verified email and then if it is true that means i should show a message to the user stating your email address that you have entered is absolutely right okay so i will say user input is the variable i'll use a concatenation symbol and then i'll use a double quote give slight space then put a colon give slight space and then i'm going to write you have entered and correct email address if it is correct what if it is incorrect right that is our main agenda business rule exception so what do you understand by business rule exception business rule exception means if the data does not meet a business criteria for example your phone number should have 10 digits so that's a business rule exception your um, email address should be proper that's a business rule exception your let's say let's say you're working on a banking project so your minimum balance should be 5000 rupees in your account so that is a business rule exception so anything relevant for the business or accurate for the business and that is not then it will become an exception or an error got it, getting it very good now i will click on show else and in this one i am going to use an activity called throw so if it is incorrect then it should throw a business rule exception that is our intention so hit on this expression okay in the throw activity and here simply type new business rule exception pretty simple one and then in the parenthesis you will write 
the enter email is wrong something like that you can put your own customized messages okay now hit on okay so what would happen look at the flow what is going to happen this is going to throw an error what kind of error business rule exception error so in the catch section what should i do hit on add new catch go here browse for types and simply say business and you should find your business rule exception getting it so here i have put the business rule exception and i'm going to hit on okay done and in this catch section in the catch section hit on this option so it is going to expand and then let's use a message box and here in the message box let's say uh, so the exception is already caught you are already sending a message isn't it so i will simply say exception dot message so it's going to exact message that you have sent from the top from the try catch block it is going to be caught pretty simple you understood your is the concept is clear now what is how it is working okay so let's see how uh, exactly it's going to perform by hitting on a debug and we are going to enter a wrong email address and see that or a wrong data we will enter okay so it is asking for the input dialog box here i am going to say rakesh at the rate is it correct email address no so i am going to hit on okay so what would happen this activity checked it it found it wrong then is throwing an error because i am debugging it will ask you to it is a prompt it is pausing itself so that you know where that error has come you can continue and see continue so what happened continue if you do it has exactly come into the business rule exception right and the entered email address is wrong is caught through the exception dot message is it clear so this is all about your business rule exception you can practice some more criteria some more situations that you can think of and practice so thank you guys for watching let's meet in our next content so please do type completed in all my videos bye bye